Now we all know the relationship between SCF, LCM and the product of three numbers. It's a product of three numbers and their LCM, their SCF are related by this formula. So in this, uh, in this small video, we are going to actually understand how do we go about proving this. So why does it actually hold? So it is not necessary that you know this, just remembering the, the formula would be sufficient. But if you know why this formula holds, then it will help you solve the problem even if you don't know this formula. Okay, so the problem is basically a solved. You can solve any problem just by looking at the technique we are going to use to actually prove this particular equation, this particular formula. So here are the three numbers A, B, C. I can write these numbers as so if we understand it uh, correctly, these three numbers, if you look at it in, in some, some detail, if you analyze it a little more, these three numbers would be such that, let's look at the number A. A would be uh, consists of several factors. So some of those factors would be un unique to just A. So let's call those A1. Some of the factors would be common to A and B, right? Any, any, uh, any number can be written uh, like this actually. So those factors, let's call them X. Now some of the factors of A would be common between A and C and let's call them Y. And then there will be some factors uh, of A which are common to both A, B, C. Right? So they are, they are common across, across all. Let's call them W. Uh, and uh, and and that is it right so these these are the factors these are all the factors all possible factors uh, that we can think of for a similarly the factors for b there will be some which are unique to b and of course there are some factors which are common to a and b which we have called already called x and then there will be some factors between common to b and c which we are all the multiplication the product we are calling them z and then uh, w is the are all the factors which are common between A, B and C. So they, those will appear in the case of B also. Now what about C? So C has some factors, their product C1 and this C1 is unique to C. They are not found in A and B. And what about uh, A and C? There will be some factors there uh, whose product we have already said that the product is Y. And then there are some products, uh, some factors common between B and C whose product we have already said it is Z and of course W will appear here also because W uh, is the set of factors, the product of factors which are common to uh, all A, B and C. Now as soon as you see this you can quickly conclude and, and rightly so that the if we take the SCF of these three numbers A, B and C this of course will be equal to W. Okay? So that is that comes very very naturally because SCF is just the product of factors which is uh, common across all three. A, B and C. So, SCF of A, B and C is equal to W. So, that will come naturally. Now, what about the product? Let's just take their product. So, if I write the product of A, uh, B and C, it is the product of all these factors that is uh, given, that is understood. So, it is A1, B1, uh, C1 and then what I am going to do is that I am going to write these. Okay? So, this becomes X square, Y square and then z square and of course w is also there so this becomes w cube so this is this is my uh, left hand side so my left hand side uh, has all of these uh, these terms a b c x will come twice so that's why there is x square y square z square and this w will come thrice so that's why there is a w cube right there so what about uh, my right hand side this right hand side if i want to compute its value what what happens there okay so let us just use another color here so this was for my left hand side lhs now let's compute our right hand side what about right hand side so right right hand side is the lcm of abc lcm of abc means that it has all possible uh, factors listed here with the common factors uh, only being taken once Okay, so that is why. So if there was uh, this x and x, we will not take them twice. We will only take them once. So this will be x, y and z. And then of these w, we will only take them once. So that is what the, uh, the LCM actually means. So this is the term with the LCM. So this is our LCM term. Multiplied with the SCF of BC. Okay. So, multiplied with SCF of BC, SCF of BC which means that we have to take all the factors common, uh, sorry, SCF of AB will come first, sorry. So, SCF of AB means that we are taking all the factors common between A and B. So, between A and B, we already know what are the factors which are common, X is common 
and then w is also common so this w will also come okay we cannot ignore that uh, that w so this will become x into w and this is the scf of ab okay so if i write it here this is scf of ab a comma b now similarly for other terms also we will have y into w and then we will also have z into w and this entire thing this entire multiplication okay so this z into w this will come from ca which is which has z as the common factors and y w this came from the scf of bc which is y and w as the common factors now this entire thing is actually divided by our scf of abc which we know is just w so there are four w's here one two three and four so on the numerator we have four w's in the denominator we have just one w so there will be a w cube right here we can quickly see that and of course a1 b1 and c1 have also come so this becomes a1 b1 and c1 from the numerator and in the numerator we have x twice multiplied so this becomes x square and y also similarly is twice so y is square and z also is twice so z is square now if you look at the uh, left hand side and right, right hand side you will find that those are uh, those are equal but more importantly when we are proving this uh, proving this particular formula we have devised a technique using which we can find the scf we can solve problems relating to scf and lcm and the relation between scf and lcm for any number of uh, uh, numbers <laughs> okay so it, 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 this technique is not restricted to only three numbers we can use this and generalize this technique even for four numbers and of course uh, questions in, in in exams today are, are testing your underlying knowledge so this proof uh, gives you that gives you equips you uh, with solving any such kind of problems where scf and lcm of numbers are actually the relation between those two are actually are given okay thank you